it, it took first and foremost a mind shift change. Um, you know, at one, at one point I did last year, I did a post about a um, flower salesman. I don't know if you remember this, but, and I might've talked about it to you before, but it's so true. You know, I, um, the guy opens a flower shop and to sell his flowers, he takes a big armload of roses out on the busiest street of the, or the busiest corner in the city, right? And every woman that walks by, he takes a rose and he hands it to her and, and says, here, have a rose on me. And she says, thanks. And goes on. That's really nice. Thank you. Yeah, so every, every morning he shows up, I'm going to sell flowers, right? Or I'm going to sell, not sell these flowers. I'm going to give these flowers away so they know about these flowers and that I give out flowers, right? Well, sooner or later, after a few weeks, sooner or later, he shows up in the corner and there's already a whole bunch of women standing there, right? Waiting for their flower. <laughs> and he hands them out, each one. Well, after a couple of months of this, he goes broke and, he, and the business goes under. Now, why did that happen? He gave away something that people wanted without creating any relationships. Because they just walked up and they took what they wanted from him and they were off. There was no, there was a connection made, but there was nothing that followed through from a relationship so that that person understood, hey, actually, while I'm giving you something that you want and appreciate today, what I actually can do is solve another problem for you, which is when you get married, you can buy flowers from me. If you have somebody dying, you need a funeral, you can come buy flowers from me. When you just want something nice in your house for a, just to make you happy for a day, you can come buy these flowers from me, right? There was that, it stopped there. So going out, what I realized was going out and establishing a following and putting out great content that everybody appreciated and everything is only step one. Step two is you have to be having, you have to be establishing and generating real relationships around a very specific problem you can solve that that real, that that relationship applies a value to, right? Like, and how that works for me is if you, um, are crawling through the desert and you are on your hands and knees and I come up to you on a camel, right? Me handing you down a little thing, a lip balm saying, man, you got some chap lips there, my friend. <laughs> <laughs> well, sure. Thanks. That, that's, you know, that's helpful, but that's not really the value. I, you know, that's going to be a lot less value uh, wh whether I just hand you down... <laughs> you know, a bottle of water. Now that's, now we're, now you trust me for something, right? Yeah. But that's, that's really kind of what changed. Uh, understanding um, how I can solve somebody's problem, the very specific problem that I can solve for them. And then what, val understanding the value that that is to the person that I'm trying to solve it for. And then having those conversations. And so all the content and all the stuff that I was doing out there was create, was laying a foundation of trust, expertise, and authority, right? Under my niche, you know, this is what I do, marketing and sales enablement, right? So, but until that sales enablement component really came out uh, and it's not, it's not sales, it's relationship opportunity, right? Until I was starting to form the relationships with the very specific people that I, that I knew would have that problem, nothing was going to happen. And the magic thing is once I started solving that for people and reaching out to people, all of a sudden other people just started showing up. I mean, because of the marketing and everything else that I was doing, 
now that content was producing inbound leads as well. So, you know, once you get that machine established and you kind of understand how to take it down the road, it really does deliver. You just, um, you have to have the right understanding. And I think the key to that is how quickly can you develop a relationships with people that you can solve a problem for? And the best thing that you can do is communicate how you solve that problem to them. And that creates the inbound lead. Mm 